I can't do this. Sorry, Echo, but you go tell her. Why does your courage dissolve into thin air at a time like this? Hey, you! What are we up to? Just, you know, spreading the good news. We just told Afin and Matoy. We thought they'd be floored by it, but they didn't seem all that surprised. They did wish us well, though. Anyway, we thought it would be polite to tell everyone directly, but... I don't know if it would sit well with her. She goes by Melrandia now, but I still think it's weighing on her. Ooh, we can't just sit back and let someone else tell her, though. This is tough. We just have to suck it up and tell her. It's not like we've done anything wrong, so it's time to be bold. I know, I know! Sheesh. Go on, Echo. Break it to her. No way! We do this together! If Dia sees me, it'll just remind her of Gedimholt. You honestly think we can tell her under those circumstances? Well, it's no different if I go. Think of the awkwardness. Sorry, you two. What actually hurts my feelings is watching you go back and forth like that. Standing there! We were bickering so loudly, I think everyone here noticed. There's something you wanted to tell me? Does it have something to do with you getting married? Oh my gosh, how did you know? I think the real question is, what took you so long? It's about time, it really is. If Master Gedimholt were here... He'd probably say something along the lines of, Grow a pair, you two. Yeah, that's the first thing he'd say for sure. Then I can totally see Zeno getting all riled up. I know it's impossible for me to get you to stop thinking about Master Gedimholt. So instead, I'll ask you to never forget him. He'll always be with us if we keep him in our hearts. Zeno and Echo. Congratulations on tying the knot. Yeah. Thanks, Dia. Thank you, Melrandia. You think I can't hear you? Time to grow a pair, you pansies. <laughs>